you know what's so sad? I have all different type of media outlets reaching out to me. TikTok banned my videos. They let other people monopolize off my videos. Other sites have monopolized off me and were able to tell my story without my narrative. And it's just like everything is just so unbelievable. Like, I feel like I'm in the Matrix. I just don't feel like this is really real or happening to me. I know it's real and I know what's happening. Especially after I went to the police station today. That made it like super real. But I just don't understand how me as a law-abiding citizen... Black, um, African, American, American, African, Nigerian woman can be going through something like this. And no one seems to care. Or to right this wrong. I could have been killed Saturday in that mall. And guess what? The headlines would have reached will have read completely different if I were the aggressor. Now, being that a white woman did all that to me, she wasn't asked to leave the mall. Actually, if you watch all my videos on YouTube, my YouTube channel is Mama Africa Musalima. This woman was catered to, even in the police report. Like, what the fuck? Is this 1920 or 2021? Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's 1921. My spirit is broken. It's broken. I, I... You know, uh, like I said before, you know... Jersey, you know, we just don't really experience deep racism like other parts of the South may experience. Or even like I experienced when I was in Pennsylvania. So, for me to be treated like that, and it's a mall that I have been going to for 20 years plus. And I will never return. I'm scared to return there. Imagine if me and this woman were in the parking lot. I would have been jailed or killed. Especially the way she called in a panic and said her heart was racing. I was threatening her and this could have went in completely and dangerous and deadly different way. And it seems like nobody cares. The police don't care. It's just like, you know, we don't matter. And it's sad. All I can think of is Michael Jackson. <laughs> they don't really care about us. And he was a fucking millionaire. <laughs> so if he could say some shit like that, what the fuck I'ma say? You think I give they you think I think they give two shits about me? They offer this woman in my police support, they offer her ambulance care. They no no one ever asked me once if I was alright. Never. This shit is crazy. It's still like just so unbelievable. I, to be honest, I don't feel like us ever living in America, we will ever be treated fair. I've traveled internationally and I've never felt like a nigga in Africa. Never. But today, I feel like a nigga in America.